So it's been a good progress day at the shop. I'm dragging today just because I had to get up at 4.30 this morning and go to work on a Saturday, which I hate working weekends, but had to get some stuff caught up and knocked out. Anyways, making progress on the fuel cell system in the S13. If I babble or lose my train of thought, just excuse me, I'm running on like four hours of sleep each night from the whole week. So I'm like a zombie and just surviving on caffeine. But the radium cell is sitting in the back of the car for mock-up getting all my placement and ideas of where I want to put it. Decided to go ahead and go high on this to keep it out of the way of the danger zone, which we'll call this danger zone. If I wall the car or get into any kind of a pinch with crashing it or getting hit in the rear, I would like to know that the S13's fuel cell is not going to get destroyed. So I went ahead and put it high. It also kind of brings the um, weight closer to the axle line. So that's done i don't have to worry about anything changing it up later if i ever decide to go rear mount or tube work or anything like that it's easy enough just to chop everything do my tube work and be done and not have to mess with the fuel cell system so uh been working on that got my whole little setup over here just working away getting everything kind of lined out on where i want it and uh hopefully i can get it done in the next couple of days work on the firewall system and then from there change out the power steering rack because I'm on a loaner rack from a buddy of mine. Need to get mine back in the car just because I was trying to figure out earlier this season what was going on with my shutter issue, kind of got it solved. Then plugs, time and belt, oil change, nut bolt check, a couple little odds and ends that I need to just kind of update and get ready for this season. I've got four weeks left until Driven Luck Circuit going out to Alabama to try out the new track there with the Grip Royal guys and some of the other dudes from Memphis, which I'm really excited about. Just uh, all of those guys are great drivers, a lot of fun. It's going to be a great time out there, and I'm looking forward to, you know, supporting a new track that was built. I want to see drifting grow, and it's just been like venue after venue after venue popping up. Even though it seems like every year we see more and more tracks closing, we're seeing tracks open too. So that's a good thing. And it's always best. It doesn't matter what the prices are, go out there and support them. I don't care if it's a couple hours away, sleep in the truck. It's fine. Just go. So I'm really excited to go out there and drive the new track and see how the car does. So it's been great so far. I learned so much from Drift Mansion. And then from there, went to Stupid Cold, had a blast with Jeff and all the guys from Memphis and Stupid Cold. And now it's just my off season prep that I've got to scramble for. Um, did find out today that the four uh, AGE for the eight six is ready to go. Minus he's just waiting on valve seals for me. They're in the mail on the way. I've got new Brian Crower springs and the new valve seals for the head. And then uh, he'll finish that up, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up the short block tomorrow and bring it back here, get it on the stand and get it prepped and ready. I am excited about that. I am ready to get the 8.6 up and driving and on the road. You know, of course, I, I don't think I've told you guys before the story of that car, and I need to do a video on the backstory on the 8.6, but that car has sat for over 20-something years before I found it. It was a one-owner 8.6 uh, SR5. So the single cam is still in it. I'm pulling it out and getting the twin cam in it, doing Weber side drafts, long tube header, the Vertex rep body kit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw those 14 by seven inkies on it. I wanna do real kind of Japanese, low, fun, cruiser style car, not going for fast, going for cool noises and just a fun cruiser. And because it has all the air conditioning components, that car is gonna have AC, which neither one of these do. Oh, speaking of these, this thing, I know it's a little bit blurry just because of the camera settings, but I am making some progress on the FD also, going ahead and knocking out some overtime so I can order extra parts for it and hopefully hammer down and possibly have the 8.6 and this ready for TogeCon. This is the K-Swap uh, FD. If I've not shown you guys or you haven't seen it, I know it's ugly. This poor car has had a rough life, so you'll have to excuse it. But, oops, look at that. K24 with a CDO behind it. I think it's like a CDO two or three or something. I don't know. It'll live until it blows up and I've got another one I can put in it. But doing the K-Swap in the FD, that is gonna be my mountain car, the Toge car as I'm calling it. And then these beautiful KNPs are going on it. 18 by 10 and a halfs. I won these at Drift Mansion. And of course I got my choice of what wheels I wanted. Those things 
look amazing on FDs. I've seen so many pictures of them. I was like, yep, that's what I have to have. Give me the widest uh, wheel that you have and I will put my 300 series tire on there. Hoping I can squeeze the 315 on there. If so, it's gonna be 305 front, 315 rear for all the grip. And yeah, I gotta order the body kit for it. Also decided to change things up. So the Sea West front bumper that I have and those GT fenders that are half cut, decided, nah, this is not the style I want. It's not a bad look, it really isn't. But it's just not the look that I want. So changing things up, getting rid of that. Of course, you know, ugly wheels, just keep it rolling. It is an empty shell. My plan was not to race car this thing, but I'm not paying um, FD interior prices. They're absolutely insane. So race car it is. So I'll have two race cars and then the 86 will have air conditioning and that'll be the slow car, but it'll be the most fun 100 horsepower anyone could ever own. So I got to get off here because I'm tired. I want to go home, go to bed and relax. And I will be back over here tomorrow to work on the S13. So catch up with you guys later.